Hello, I'm going to show you how to install CK Editor inside Drupal. CK Editor is a, a WYSIWYG editor that makes it easy for you to format the text and the images on your web pages. So, first of all, I've already downloaded CK Editor. This is the module. This is the software. And we also need IMCE image editor. So, first of all, I'm going to unzip the uh, the module, the CK editor module. Now, I'm going to change the name of this because I have to put the CK Editor software inside this and I want to make sure that we know that this is the module. I'm going to change its name back before we actually upload it to Drupal but that just makes sure we don't get confused. So that's the module and inside the module we need to put this which is CK Editor software. So this software goes inside this module. The easiest way to do it is to copy it, open up the module, and this where it says CK editor it has to go in there. So paste it in there. Now I'm going to delete this so we don't get confused. Change the name of this back to CK editor. Right. Now we need to unpack this, which is an image editor that works with CK editor. So I want to copy both of these editor and the um, image software that it needs to work properly. We're now going to go inside the Drupal directory. Now on your website you'll find all of these different files and folders. The editor wants to go inside this one called sites. Inside all inside modules. Oh, <laughs> they're there from a previous occasion. I've been practicing this you see. <laughs> so we paste them in there. Right. Now, it's back to the Drupal site. Go back to our Drupal online. This is, this is the website online. And now, if we look at the modules, we'll see that we've uploaded them. I'll put them inside the inside the Drupal site. So, click the buttons to enable them. That's IMCE image file uploader and CK editor. So, click both to enable them. Click save configuration. both installed. We just need to make some minor changes. Where you see this, uh, th this is the module CK editor, look at the other side here, the configure, click that. Now what we want to do, on this page you, you need to just change the, the, the setting where it says full, we're going to click that edit button, it's full HTML, I'm going to click the edit button and now we're going to look for file browser settings and where it says file browser type link dialog click this and look for IMCE which is the image editor we uploaded with it click 
like so. And now, if we go to add content, add a basic page, bingo, we've got all these edit buttons we can use. Now, one thing you must remember, if you want to add images to your page, you should have a button there, and that the button we're going to put there will let you upload images easily. But it will only work if you click this, click full HTML, where it says switch to plain text editor. Underneath there you'll see text format. And when you click text format, you can have filtered HTML, full HTML, or plain text. We, we need to choose full HTML. Now once we've clicked that to choose full HTML, we can then add an image. So we've got the browse button. So now we can browse our our local computer to upload an image. Click the upload button. Choose the image, which is on my desktop. Oh that's convenient, it's on my desk. It's the only image there is on my desktop, that's why it's popped up so easily. Uh, you just browse for it. I'm browsing on my desktop, there's only one image. Click that one. Click the upload button. And it will upload. Now we can close that box. Now it's too big at the moment, I don't want it so big. So I'll just resize the image. Now I can insert it. Bingo! It's on our page. We can use these buttons for doing all sorts of different things, but I'll show you that in a different video because uh, it gets confusing if I try and do too much at once. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Bye.